How's it going, Geometry Cats? We are looking at 7 5 proportions in triangles. Last section, chapter 7. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at this here. If a line is parallel uh, to one side of a triangle and it intersects the other two sides, it divides those sides proportionately. What that means is these two lines are parallel. Then XR over RQ equals YS over SQ. Okay? Nothing too scary. Let's do an example. We'll find the value of A in the diagram to the right. Okay. <clears throat> I want to show you guys something pretty neat. Watch this. Bam. Bam. Set them equal to each other. The parallel lines are your equal sign. Okay? A over A plus 4. Parallel lines equal sign equals 12 over 18. Okay? Cross multiply. You have 12A plus 48. Make sure to distribute that 12 to each of those equals 18A. Subtract your 12A from both sides. 48 equals 6a. Divide both sides by 6, and you get 8 equals a. Okay. So in triangle x, y, z, r, s joins x, y, and y, z. With r and x, y, and s on y, z, and r, s parallels x, z. If y over r, or yr over x equals ys over sd equals 1, what must be true about rs? Ready guys? It's going to be tricky. Triangle xyz. rs joins these two. These are parallel. If y r over r x equals one, and x, or I'm sorry, I drew that in the wrong spot. X, Y, Z. I can I can hold this one true. And Y over S over S over Z equals one. That means these two things are congruent, and these are, which means R and S are midpoints. Okay. Good question though. Uh, corollary to the side splitter theorem. And that is if you have two lines and you have three sets of parallel lines. I'm not sorry, two sets. No, there's three. If eight if they're all parallel, then your sides are proportional. A B over B C equals the same thing as before, kind of. Best way to see this, guys, is just to do an example. <clears throat> What's the length of site C? Call X. <clears throat> Ready, guys? Proportions already set up. On your mark, get set, go. This one over this one. This one over this one. There's your equal signs. 7.2. Over X. Movie. Oh, one second, guys. I will use my mouse for timing. Seven point two over X equals that's my parallel lines. Eight. 
all over 6.4. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping my moist survives through the rest of this. Cross multiply. 7.2 times 6.4 equals 8x, right guys? Right. So I grab my handy dandy calculator. No, you guys don't want to see test, do you? What 7.2 times 6.4 46.08 then we have to divide both sides by 8 5.76 6 yards right? got a label last one I feel like I skipped a theorem. Hold on. I did forget a theorem, but it's here now. Triangle bisector theorem. <clears throat> what it is is if you have an angle bisector on a triangle, those two angles are congruent, then CD over DB equals CA over BA. Okay? Now you could either or no, a B over B D equals A C over C D. I like this way better because watch. I'll show you. You have instant proportions, okay? Instantaneous proportions. Find the value of Y at the right. Watch this, ready? Bam, bam, equal sign. Y over 9.6 equals 24 over 16. That's how quick we can do that. Cross multiply. 16Y equals 24 times 9.6. Grab my handy dandy calculator once again. Why do I put this thing away? It's such a pain getting out of my desk. It's a joke. I should say on my desktop. Multiply those to that, divide that by 16, a 14.4. That's all there is to it, guys. The end. Enjoy!